Wow. You see that? It's the solar eclipse that happened on April 8th, 2024. I went upstate New York. Well, I live upstate, but I went more upstate New York. Near Rome, New York. To a place called Delta Lake State Park. Got a great south-facing view over the Delta Reservoir. It's a little concerning, as you could see, clouds were rolling in. Wasn't quite sure we were going to be able to see it. Super sunny the day before, perfectly sunny. Clouds were in the forecast, a lot of people weren't able to see it. But we were there, and we were watching it happen. The moon covering the sun. Little by little, those clouds were covering the whole event. Right sort of at the last moment, right at the time my alarm went off, clouds completely blocked the sun. You couldn't even see it. Not even diffused through the clouds. It was gone. I could hear people screaming and yelling. Yelling at the clouds. Walked away from my camera. Which, by the way, I was using a Sony a7R5 with a 600mm lens. No filter. People were using really deep, neutral density filters, which... I guess is the correct thing to do and maybe I should have had an ND but not the ND 100,000 I think 16 and a half stops is a little too much I think you only needed a couple stops but whatever it's not the point let's not get technical here it doesn't matter it's all how you choose to approach the subject but the clouds they covered that sun and it just felt so disappointing, but it was completely dark at that moment. And I picked up my phone camera and I filmed this. It was just amazing. It was nighttime. You could hear the peepers. And then everyone started yelling. The clouds started parting ways. And I ran back to my camera. And I just rolled a little video. Look at this. It was totally out of focus, but pretty cool. And I should have rolled longer, I guess, but shooting with my phase one with an 80 millimeter lens. And I was like, this just isn't right. I'm, I'm switching back to this Sony. I don't need video on this. I want some photos. So I was switched to the mode over, got rid of that video and just started trying to get it. I literally had. 20 seconds. I mean, I didn't know it at the time, but that's all the time I had left of the full totality. And I fired off some frames and he, here's one. And then it's fiddling a little more and I got this one. It's pretty cool. And then so I, I didn't know, was it dark? Was it light? I, my all my grasp of photographic knowledge was completely lost at that point i was mashing buttons on my camera i didn't even know what i was doing and meanwhile the focus was just breathing and hunting went manual guess go infinity it seems like focusing on infinity would be a good idea but how come sometimes you focus on infinity and it's just not in focus even though it's whatever Got this one. You could start seeing a lot of noise happening, but wow. And then another one. And then last shot. Damn, really like that one. And then the clouds just came. 
again and the moon moved enough and it was just too bright. I have this time lapse that really shows the moment, the sort of day to night thing that happens, which is really spectacular. And I feel like that's the thing you have to experience, the partial, which I had experienced in 2017, while amazing. Looking at it, it's very cool. The shadows, the people wearing the funny glasses. But it's when you sit in that nighttime in the day, when will you ever do that ever again? Maybe never. Anyway, that was my experience. It's truly incredible. I feel like I need to become a solar eclipse tourist now. Maybe I'll go to Iceland for the next one in a couple of years. I made a print of one of these photographs, that first one. I feel like the first shot was the best shot. I'm going to be working on that this week. Thanks for coming. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time. Thank you.